Rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. We have a really fun episode planned with lots of royal events, lots of parties, and a proposal too. So the intro was supposed to be directly after the last episode, but it has been several months now that have passed since the last episode or since the intro. So some time has gone in between. I just thought it would be really cute to show you guys the intro with Aramita telling Han that she's pregnant. But we are now at the Willow Creek Palace because it is Cornelius's birthday. He's going to be aging up into a young adult, so we're gonna have his birthday party, and then we are going to have Araminta's baby shower. Mostly just gonna be like a small family thing, but we will also get to see Azumi because Azumi's pregnant as well. She's actually like about to have her baby, but it's supposed to kind of be a celebration for both of them. And then we are going to get to see our proposal, so I'll tell you guys who that is in a bit. And then we are going to have Arya's birthday party. She's gonna be turning into a young adult, and that might be a pretty big party too, so I'm excited for this. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So Cornelius's party, it is a little bit smaller. There are some family members here and then a lot of the teenagers as well. But Arya's party is going to be much more of the teens and she's having like a separate event or a separate party, I guess, for just family with like the adults and stuff. But this is going to be her party for the teenagers. But Cornelius does have some family members at his birthday. So this is his aunt. This is Gabriel's mother, Countess Ari. And then Gabriel's father, Father's here somewhere too. I'm going to change Takshi's outfit because that's the outfit he wore to Araminta's wedding. So Cornelius's party, I guess is considered a little bit more casual. Oh yeah, then we have Countess Belle here too. And Lady Ariana. Actually, I'm gonna have Genevieve talk to her cousin Ariana. I wouldn't say Genevieve and Ariana are super close. I think actually Julia and Ariana might get along a little bit better. And I don't see Thomas here with her. Thomas might be working at the Windenburg Palace. Oh, and then Arya and Kimmy. I just, I don't know. I think they're just the adorable, like most adorable sisters. They're so close. Oh no, is Arya sad? She is. Oh. I mean, her birthday is the next, it's tomorrow. Maybe she's just been a little bit stressed out. It has been several years since their father passed away. And when their father first passed away, Arya felt the need to kind of take more, not more control, but I guess just like, filling in for her mom a little bit more when her mom was, I mean like Arya was going through stuff and in mourning too, but she just wanted to make sure that she could help take care of things if her mom needed her to, so her mom could mourn as needed. I do think because Arya, she just tries to handle a lot, like sometimes a little bit more than she can. I think sometimes it just gets a little bit overwhelming for her, but we'll see her at the party at her party. Hopefully she'll feel better by then. I love that it's just like the, adults dancing here in the center with like most of the teenagers around the side. I feel like they're all just like, oh gosh. I feel like Arya's birthday is the one where the teens feel like they can have a little bit more freedom because it's just teenagers pretty much at that party. So I think they might be looking more forward to that. Oh my gosh, Countess Bell, my goodness gracious. I don't even see her daughter Ariana in the room. She probably left. She was probably so embarrassed. Oh, she's over here. Okay, she's coming back. But yeah, it is. Oh, okay, they're getting a drink. It's Cornelius's birthday. Ellis aged up into a young adult in the last episode. As far as like proposals and stuff for our, I guess, current teens and the ones turning into young adults, since young adult age for my game is 21, like yes, some people might get married at that age, but not everybody does. So I would kind of just like to make it a little bit more realistic to the story and probably wait for some of the couples. Some might get married a little bit sooner though. Like I feel like Ari and Gabriel might be one of the sooner ones to get married. I feel like both of them are pretty ready to get married. However, I think Ellis and Cornelius might wait a few episodes. Same thing with, I don't know, I feel like Kimmy might be more ready to get married than Makana is. They might wait a little bit longer. So yeah, just want to let you guys know that. I will tell you guys who is going to be proposing in this episode, and that is Makai. So he's been thinking about proposing to Lily for a very long time, so we're gonna go get to see that. They might just have a very small wedding. I think they've talked about getting married before. I almost thought that they might elope, but I don't think Jessica would want that. I think, like, yes, Jessica would be there. Lily doesn't really have any family that she's close to, but Makai has a lot of family, and I know a lot of his family would 
would want to be there too. So I think it's going to be a small wedding and that actually might be pretty soon. That might be in a few episodes. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, so okay, now the teenagers are dancing a little bit more. So that's good. Cornelius is dancing. He looks like he's having a lot of fun. Um, although Minerva, his cousin is just like right there. <laughs> Maybe you and Alice should talk. I don't know, blow him a kiss. Oh, although Minerva's right there. So maybe not. Come, come, come. No, 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 no. Okay, come here. Okay, good. She's gone. <laughs> She's not just in between them while they're flirting now. So Arya and Cornelius and Gabriel and Cornelius, they still don't really get along because as you guys know, a long time ago, Cornelius and Gabriel, they got a fight because Cornelius said something about Arya. So Gabriel and Cornelius still has never really liked each other that much. And Arya and Cornelius, they don't really talk as much either. They're just very passive aggressive towards each other, but they're both growing. Cornelius is happier now, you know, he's not taking his anger out on everybody. So I think that he has been a lot less passive aggressive towards Arya, which in turn, she's been less passive aggressive towards him. I was kind of thinking though, maybe because I feel like they would get along with Ellis pretty well. So I'm gonna have Ellis introduce himself to Gabriel and to Arya. So he hasn't, I mean like he's seen them at parties, but I don't think he's officially ever talked to them. So I'm gonna have him meet both of them. They were all also at the club together at like the teen outing what that was like, what, episode 48. So they've been around each other before, but I don't think they've ever really talked before. All right, so Ellis is actually talking to Arya. They're getting along pretty well. I think he probably came over to talk to Juliet because he's really close with Cornelius' family. Juliet loves him. So he came over and Juliet was already talking to Arya. So now he's talking to Arya too. So I feel like she's like, oh, so you're Cornelius' boyfriend? And she's probably like, oh yeah, my, my boyfriend is cousins with Cornelius. But yeah, they all actually seem to be getting along really well. But yeah, I kind of think that that if Arya and Gabriel, I don't know, he's not really talking to Gabriel right now, but maybe Arya can tell Gabriel, like I met Cornelius' boyfriend and talked to him a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it comes up that Arya isn't really that close with Cornelius and Gabriel's not really that close with Cornelius. Maybe Ellis asks why. I'm sure Arya doesn't want to like talk bad about Cornelius to just be like, oh, we just haven't agreed on things in the past, like that sort of thing. But like, maybe she's saying that I've noticed though that he seems a lot happier and all that stuff. So I don't know, maybe this could lead, oh, okay, they're getting up, but maybe this this could lead to Arya thinking to like call a truce with Cornelius or something. I mean, they're always at the same events. Their families all know each other. They're hang out with the same group of people. They just never really talk to each other. But yeah, okay, anyway, we have a lot of other stuff to get to in this episode. So I'm going to have Cornelius blow out the candles. He's gonna be aging up into a young adult. They're all just watching Gabriel's father dance here. <laughs> this is Earl Jack. So it's Earl Jack and King Louis, wherever he is, I don't know where he is, and Belle, they're triplets if you do not remember. Okay, oh, oh, corn boy. He's blowing up the candles. Okay, there we go. <gasps> he has aged up into young adult. He still has the hot-headed trait. He's still probably hot-headed, just probably doesn't get angry as easily. He's also a bit of a snob. Maybe eventually we'll change one of those. But now since Cornelius, he's actually been like working his butt off to study and like catch up on what he's missed over the past few years, like almost working a little too hard. And like his family gets concerned about him sometimes. I'm just trying to think of what to give him. I mean, I don't think overachiever though would be the thing. Like that's not really describing him. Maybe though, cause he's gotten a lot closer with his family and he wants to have a family in the future with Ellis, maybe he would be family oriented, which I kind of love because he's never really, like as a teenager, especially earlier teenager, he just never really paid much attention to his family. But I think over the years and ever since him and Ellis got together, he's gotten so much closer with them and now they mean a lot to him and he loves spending time with them and he wants a family in the future. So I'm gonna give him the family oriented trait. I think that's really sweet actually. I'm like, tear I don't know why I'm tearing up, but I am. I think just because he's changed so much and he's grown so much. Much. I love it. But okay, so we're going to call people to the meal. All right, everyone's coming to get their food. Oh, and he's sitting at the head of the table. That's so cool. And then yeah, we have Elena here. Takashi, your boyfriend's here. I'm gonna actually have Elena talk to Takashi. Takashi's also really excited to be an uncle. Araminta, hopefully, I think she'll have the baby by the end of the next episode. Cause yeah, several months are gonna pass between like each episode. So, oh God, I'm so excited for that. And then Juliet, why don't you go talk to Manuel? 
Say hi, actually Elena, and actually all the Willow Creek kids, they're going to be at Araminta's baby shower. So I think they're trying to like not party too hard tonight because the baby shower is kind of early in the afternoon tomorrow. But yeah, they're really sweet. I love them. They can't show too much PDA, especially around Cornelius because Cornelius gets very overprotective. And then Genevieve and Kimmy, they'll probably be aging up in a couple episodes because between Genevieve and Cornelius, there's like 10, 11 month difference. And then same thing with Kimmy and Ari. Maybe Gabriel will be aging up in the next episode too. But yeah, so they're having just a nice little time. So we're going to end this birthday party here. So let's go ahead and end. Everyone had a good time. Okay, so we are now at the Royal Palace of Glimmerbrook. We are here for Araminta and Han's baby shower. And technically, I guess it would also be Azumi's baby shower. Yeah, we'll say it's Azumi's baby shower too. So Azumi, I need to find everybody. We already have guests arriving. I kind of set up this little thing out here where our gardens usually are. So we kind of just renovated a bit on the stream. And then we were trying to turn this whole area too into a ballroom. So we'll do that soon. Probably won't be using the ballroom in this episode for this event, but we'll use it in the future. This is just a small thing with family and close friends. So this is Duke Kintaro here. This is Empress Malin. They've officially been dating. They started publicly dating about a year ago. So they had their relationship for a very long time. They'll probably either elope or have a small wedding too. It would be both of their second marriages, so I don't see them wanting to have a big ceremony at all. But yeah, I think that's what they're going to end up doing. And then of course we have the Willow Creek kids here and then Azumi and Akio are here. So Azumi is ready to be having her baby fairly soon. She's in her third trimester. Airmint is only in her first trimester still or like about to be in her second trimester. And also who is here because they got along so well in the last episode. I need to find her, where'd she go? Okay, there she is, Fallon is here. So they invited Fallon and Charles because Araminta and Fallon got along so well in the last episode when they met at Bellatrix's homecoming ball. I feel like they've just got to be really good friends. She wanted to invite them to the baby shower, not even for Charles. Like if it wasn't for Fallon, I don't even think Charles would have been invited. I think that Araminta and Fallon just hit it off so well. They've gotten pretty close. So she invited Fallon to the baby shower and like technically Charles too, but mostly just Fallon. I don't think it's awkward at all for Charles and Araminta. I don't think it's awkward for Han either. Han's so nice. Charles already apologized for the whole fight thing. So I don't think it's that big a deal. That was a long time ago. It was years ago. But yeah, I just feel like Fallon and Araminta, they love talking to each other. Actually, if you guys want to check it out, I'll link this post below. But my friend Cassidy, she posted something on her Instagram and it was like a little coffee date with Araminta and Fallon. And that's exactly exactly what I was picturing would happen after the last episode when they just got so close to. So yeah, I'll link that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But yeah, they're here. And then of course, Willow Creek Royal family. This is Duke Kintaro's son. That is Lord Makra. And then we have, oh, Kriya Karin, Elena, Han, Emperor Lee Wei, he's here, Han's father. And then, and then we have Admiral Zhang, which is Tai's husband. So yeah, we have just like a cute little gathering here. Tai's in here, she's in the bathroom on her phone, that's fine. I'm going to actually have have Takashi go talk to Elena. Oh, okay, they're cloud gazing right in the middle of the party. That's fine. I feel like they both really love parties. They're both very outgoing. Azumi's dancing. She's gonna be having her baby very soon. Either, hopefully by the end of this episode or maybe in the beginning of the next episode, she will have already had her baby. But yeah, I'm excited for her and Akio. I'm sure Akio is a bit nervous because of what happened with his mother. I'm sure he's gonna be very nervous when Azumi goes into labor too and like Han and Aramin and everyone are gonna have to try to calm him down. And then Han is just so in love with the baby and the baby's not even born yet, but he's been very protective of Araminta, won't let her do much. He just wants her to not be stressed at all. He's always telling the staff to make sure that all the fridge and everything is just stocked with all these random foods, just in case Araminta gets any cravings. All right, we should probably call people to the meal because we gotta go to Makai and Lily soon so he can propose. So I was gonna call everyone to the meal. I guess we could call everyone to everything. But yeah, I just feel like Han always wants to be by Araminta's side, make sure 
sure she's okay, make sure she's feeling okay. I think Aramid is just really excited to be having a baby. They're so sweet and so cute. Oh, and this is Shen. This is Han's nephew, Tai's son. So he grew up into a child. He was in the intro of the last episode very briefly. I'm sure you couldn't really see him, but yeah, he was a toddler before, now he's a child. Oh, and they're so cute. Han's such a good uncle. Oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. I've never seen that animation before. He like pinches his cheeks. That's adorable. I love that. Oh my gosh, Han's gonna be such a good father. I'm so excited. And then Han has been getting a lot closer to Akio. I mean, they're both gonna be fathers. Like, I think that's gonna even bring them closer together too, because they're gonna be talking about that a lot. And then him and his father have been getting along really well too. So yeah, that's everyone here. Okay, let's go ahead to Lily, Makai, and Jessica. Okay, so we are now in Sulani with Makai and Lily. They are currently on it date and now they're walking on the beach together. So they have been dating for quite a while now. It's been a few years. Makai's waited a really long time to propose to her. I think he just wanted to make sure that she was the one. I feel like Jessica's been like, why haven't you proposed to her yet? And I think that makai has been thinking about it for a while and he was just trying to find the right time. So I think this is the time. He's gonna propose to her. The sun setting, it's beautiful. They both look so good. I was kind of hoping you could see the sunset from here. Oh, it looks like it's over there. Maybe they should walk over there. So, oh, Oh, yeah, all right, Makai, bring her here. Okay, now they're in front of the sunset. The other place, it looked beautiful there too, but I just wanted them to be on the sunset. So this is right in front of the Sulani Palace, the main one. So yeah, they've been walking and talking. We'll say they walked from there to here because it's actually really close. But now I think Makai is about to propose to her. I mean, him and Lily get along so well. Lily and Jessica, they love each other. Jessica loves Lily, which is so important to him. And they have so much fun together. He really loves her. He's able to talk to her. She's able to confide in him. So now he's getting on one knee and proposing to her. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, okay, she said yes. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. They're so cute. It's so beautiful with the sunset and everything. <gasps> okay. Makai got engaged to Lily! Makai's engaged! They're gonna go tell Jessica about this now. She's gonna wanna hear everything. Yeah, we should have them go home and tell Jessica about this. Oh, okay, well, I guess they're going in their bathing suits to go home, that's fine. Okay, we'll let them do that. But yeah, so I do think they're gonna have a small wedding, mostly with Makai's family. I think they might get married at the venue that Leilan and Dean got married at. Okay, so we have to brighten day, yes, cause we're about to tell her that he just proposed to Lily. Or they're gonna tell or how it happened. They probably got home and she's like, so? And she's gonna make them tell her every single detail, which I think is just too cute. Okay, so they're telling Jessica all about it now. Oh my God, they all match. <gasps> That's so cute. They're just a cute little family. They all match. So yeah, Makai and Lily are engaged now. Okay, we gotta go to the Oasis Springs Palace because we gotta go to Arya's birthday. It's gonna be a big one. But yeah, they're such a cute little family. I'm so excited for them. All right, so we are now at the Palace of Oasis Springs. We have not been here since since the incident with Philip. So the Royal Family of Voices Springs have moved back into the palace. It has been renovated on the inside. They moved back here like a year ago. They had been staying at their other palace before this. The building that was in the intro of the last episode, I don't think I made this clear, but that was, it's like a mausoleum where they buried Philip. Actually, I think I mentioned that in the last episode, but yeah, that was it. So that had been done just very recently, like within the past few months. That's where they buried Philip. That's probably where the rest of the family will be buried as well. So I'll show you guys that one day. I'm just finishing up a few things for it. But everyone is here now for Arya's birthday. This one's a little bit more of a fancier event than the Willow Creek Palace. This one is also just specifically for the teenagers. So this is our birthday girl, Arya. She's talking to Gabriel. Look at her. She's wearing one of Aisha's dresses. Aisha didn't make this for her specifically, but Aisha let her wear one of her designs. So this is one that wasn't seen at the ball. I think it looks amazing on her. I think they try not to dress as fancily, but this is Aisha's dress and it's just as I mean, I think it's pretty fancy. And then Kimmy's, this is hers. This is really cute too. Oh, Makan is over here though. Kimmy, go talk to him. Kimmy and Makan are really sweet. But yeah, we have a lot of the teenagers here. Some were not at Cornelius's party. We have Lady Rosalind here. So this is their cousin. This is the cousin that was dating Maxwell. Her and I just didn't really get along very much. But I know some people didn't really remember what she looked like. I know we don't see her often. And then their other cousin, Ajay, which is her older brother. I don't think he's actually here. Since their parents divorced, they've kind of been back and forth between 
between the two houses, but Ajay is actually a young adult, but he's still living at home. I'm sure he'll probably be moving out soon. I don't think he's dating anyone right now though. But yeah, Ari and Gabriel are talking. Oh, this is Desta. This is who Adric met in the last episode. So they've been seeing each other. They haven't like officially started dating, but they've been seeing each other a lot the past few months. So she's here. Adric invited her to the party. And then, oh, Natalia and Desta are talking too. That's cute. They're dating brothers. But yeah, we'll get to see them sometime soon. Maybe we'll have them go on a date in the next episode. And then I have Lord William here. I think Prince Frederick is supposed to be here too. I invited them since they're teenagers. But I don't actually see Frederick right now, but this is Lord William. We gave him a little makeover on the stream. Look how baby he is. He's so cute, but he looks like Kellen. He's still really young. I think out of the children, Molly Grace is the next one to age up, but she probably won't age up for, I'd say another episode or two. Oh, there's Frederick. He's here. There's Frederick. He's adorable. And Nay is just kind of here, kind of chaperoning. I think she trusts them a little bit more now. She's giving them a little bit more freedom. They're a lot older. Older now. Obviously, she still misses Philip. It's been several years since he passed away, though. She still misses him a lot, but she's definitely able to deal with things a lot better now. Oh my gosh, Kimmy and Makana came out onto the balcony to stargaze together. I think so cute and romantic when they get away from the party and from just talking to everybody. I'm gonna have them flirt. I already talked about them in the last episode, just how much better they've been doing and how much Makana has been opening up to her. But I just love that they came out onto like the balcony here during the party away from everybody. And then Samaria's here, but I don't see Bellatrix. I don't, I thought I invited her. Maybe she couldn't come. But yeah, I mean, they're engaged. They're really cute. They won't be having their wedding again until Samaria ages up a two young adult. Ooh, look at Arya. Look at her dancing. Oh my goodness. Weird. Where's Gabriel? Oh, there he is. All right, they can dance together. Oh, okay, Gabriel's dancing. Oh, and Cornelius is dancing now, that's fine. Oh, and then Manuel and Juliet, I'm gonna have them talk, they're so cute. And then Aisha, oh, Aisha is, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, they have a romantic relationship. Well, that makes sense. Um, This is Lord Chris of Salvadorada. So his mother is the half-sister of King Cayman and Jabari. So they seem to be having fun and flirting a bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute this is. Look at the way Juliet is just looking at Manuel and the way he's smiling at her. That's so cute. They're adorable. I think they're just so smitten with each other all the time. All right, so we do need to have Arya blow out the candles since it is her birthday party. So I have a cake here somewhere. Okay, there it is. I put it in the fridge. I'm gonna bring this out here for her and I believe there should be candles on that. There are. Okay, so I'm gonna bring Arya to blow out the candles. Oh. Oh, uh, well, her and Gabriel are in the middle. Hey, they didn't go to the closet. They usually mess around in the closet and <laughs> I actually going to the bed this time. Oh, I was, yeah, that looks weird because I have custom content like comforter over her bed. Uh, all right, well, I guess we have to wait till she's done before they do anything. Honestly, Ari looked so good. I feel like Ari and Gabriel, like they are, they're, so they're not technically allowed to go in their room together. I think the only time they're allowed to is when like Gabriel, oh yeah, they're still going but is when Gabriel is having a nightmare. Like you guys saw in the intro of the last episode when Gabriel's having a nightmare, his parents and Naya, they'll let Arya go over there just to be there for him because she is usually the one to make him feel better. So that's usually the only exception, but I feel like in that case, they have to leave the door open still. So Arya might have convinced Gabriel because Gabriel wants to be on his best behavior, but I think Arya might have convinced him to just get away together for a bit and sneak off into her room. So I feel like Arya is definitely the one to initiate that. And of course, Gabriel loves her so much and he's all for it. He just doesn't want to get in trouble. All right, so they're done. So I'm going to have Arya go blow out the candles now. Okay, Arya's blowing out the candles. Gabriel's right here too. He probably like wanted to do everything for her for her birthday, he wanted to do something really special for her. Okay, Arya has aged up. So Arya is a genius and she's self assured. So another trait for her, I mean, she's romantic. I should just give her that, but she's been romantic. She does get jealous too. Both Gabriel and Arya both get jealous. I can either give her the jealous. Let's give her the romantic trait. I mean, she's been romantic. I need to find, I know there's a cheat to have more than one trait, right? Or more than three traits. Um, I need to find out what that is. But yay, Arya has aged up into a young adult. I think Kimmy and Gabriel will be aging up into young adults either in the next episode or the one after that. But yeah, I'm sure that Gabriel probably wanted to do something really special for Arya too. And Ellis too for Cornelius' birthday. But I feel like Cornelius just, I mean, I feel like they both wanted to do that. Like I feel like Cornelius just wanted to spend time with Ellis. I feel like Arya just wants to spend time with Gabriel. They're so cute. I love that. She looks so good too. She looks gorgeous in this dress. I love it on her. 
sure. But yeah, everyone else is doing really well. I think we are gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know what you thought of all the birthday parties and just hanging out with all of our favorite characters. Let me know what you think of Makai and Lily and their proposal. And then Aramint is having her baby soon. Azumi did not have her baby yet, so she'll be having that probably by the next episode. This was just a fun little episode. In the next episode, we will get to more story stuff. We're gonna be probably paying a little bit more attention to the Windenburg royal family and Alice May in the next episode. We're going to be seeing Caspian again. We did see him briefly in episode 50, so we'll be seeing him again. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!